Well, here I am, one of my favorite places in the world, Surplus City, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look around and see if we can find any good stuff to buy today. I have taken home tonnage from this place over the years. Literally tonnage. I generally find some good stuff here and it's one of my favorite electronic and all around uh, surplus stores. They got more than just electronics, they got a lot of stuff. So we'll go inside and take a look around. All kinds of LEDs. And then just a wall of IC chips. All kinds of different IC chips. Any kind of IC chip you could possibly need. If you can find it. The filing system is a little weird. But uh, they're there. Dip switches. Miscellaneous electronic components, lenses, optical stuff, chemistry equipment, I'm barely inside the door. Just amazing stuff, amazing. Got bins full of Jones connectors, all different kinds. I've bought a lot of Jones connectors here over the years. Relays. Relays. This goes on forever with the relays. More IC chips. Like we got some uh, got some static RAM over there. I could probably use that with my uh, retro computing projects. Still in relays and contactors on this side. Diodes, power diodes, or IC chips. More IC chips. Looks like thermal couple wire over here, maybe. Enclosures. Got all kinds of switches. I'm gonna have to get myself a basket and start shopping. Various components. Tools. Tools of all kinds. Oh, this is actually over here. This looks like trimmer capacitors. And potentiometers. Tools on the back wall. Tools in the case. More potentiometers. Ooh, resistor networks. Man, I just bought some of those off of eBay. But I needed them before I came to Albuquerque, so, you know, I'll look around, though. Maybe I can use some of those while I'm here for a future project. It's like plastic gear standoffs. More tools. All kinds of capacitors over here. That goes way up. And over there, and over there, and over there, capacitors, any kind of capacitor you could possibly need. Okay, this aisle is all sorts of um, power connectors, plugs and sockets, every kind imaginable. And what do we 
got here? We got knobs, all kinds of knobs. Uh, looks like uh, plug-in modules for oscilloscopes over here. Circuit breakers, all the way to the end of the aisle. Circuit breakers, big ones to little ones. Heat sinks, aluminum heat sinks. And what else? Uh, looks like RFI filters, insulators, little transformers, fans, 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 more heat sinks up top. Oh, carpet squares. So one thing about this place is it's very diversified. It's not all just electronics. There's all kinds of stuff here. I think this is probably one of the reasons why this place is still in existence when so many others have closed down because it's diversified. I mean, all the, almost all the electronic stuff is just up front. But there's only about a third of the store. There's all kinds of other stuff. It's huge. And then there's the outside, which I'll show you in a little bit. So here we've got all kinds of little electronic doohickeys, modules, odds and ends. You name it, they got it. Just goes on forever. Uh, this is an area where I've spent a lot of money. I bought a lot of these Omega modules from here for controlling kilns. I don't need any right now, but I'll keep my eyes open for a bargain while I'm here. And on this side of the aisle, well, I don't even know what half this stuff is. Well, I don't even know what two-thirds or three-quarters of this stuff is. If you need it, they got it. Hewlett Packard. 3495A scanner. I'm sure somebody paid a pretty penny for that. Probably uh, Sandia Labs. A lot of this stuff probably is surplus from Sandia Labs, I would imagine. Meters. Analog and digital. Counters. Flow controllers. All kinds of stuff. It just goes on and on. All right, this aisle, we got lots of heat shrink tubing on this side. All sorts of light bulbs on this side. To start with. And then it changes. We get more electronic equipment. Still light bulbs over here. Then we get into fuses. Fuses. Monster size. This fuse is like the size of a baseball bat down there. Down to smaller, smaller, smaller. We still got lighting fixtures and stuff over here on this side. All kinds of cartridge fuses up here. Fuse holders. I have a use for some fuse holders. In between segments, I'm shopping. I'm starting to get stuff in my basket. So I may have to stop here and shop fuse holders for a bit. Alright, here we are in the resistor aisle. And that goes on and on and on and on. All kinds of resistors. And over here we got some, um, well, let's see, we got some torids. And that's like more resistors underneath the torids. And a few capacitors over here that somehow escaped the capacitor department. And then resistors. Resistors, resistors. Resistors. Power resistors. Interesting vacuum equipment down here on the floor. Those look like diffusion pumps. Those would come in very handy for somebody who has the hobby of... Uh, making telescope mirrors like me, so I can deposit the reflective coating on them. 
but that's something I really don't need to get into. I'll just send them out to a coating house. Let's see, ah, compressors. Looks like rolls of uh, thermal register tape. Um, are these? This might be time clocks. I'm not sure what those are. No well, lettering. Just general office supplies back here. And then we're getting into sort of housewares back there. And then along the back wall, there's more electronic equipment. Like I said, this place is diversified. They got a little of everything. Okay, I'm sort of moving out of the housewares and kids' toys section back there, back into sort of industrial electronic equipment. Here's a big oven right here. And all kinds of rack mount equipment here. And this looks like ultrasonic cleaners, yeah. Printers, more rack mount stuff. Some more home office type printers and computer equipment. Stage lighting, look at that. Anybody starting a theater, putting on a play? You got your spotlights. That's an interesting piece of equipment. Honeywell, can't tell what it is. Interesting. It's got the look of an 80s, 80s computer interface to it. It's cool. Oh, and there's the telephone equipment over here. And tape. All kinds of tape. Electrical tape. All kinds of marking tape. You name it. And this is all telephone equipment. Adapters. Phone units. In fact, I think I saw... No, it's up ahead of me. I think I see a couple PBX systems up here. Old PBX systems. Yeah. Uh, that looks like a switch of some sort. Yeah, this is all telephone switch gear right here. This is old software by the look of it. No, those are videotapes. Videotapes. Holy cow, yeah. VHS tapes. Cables. Ribbon cables. Round cables. All kinds of cables. Neat. Lots of cables. Any kind of cable you could need. Modern stuff to obsolete stuff. Looks like we got all kinds of valves and flow control stuff over here. Oh, and look at that. My grandmother's washing machine. I wonder what ever became of that. Not sure how it got from her basement in Indiana to Albuquerque, but here it is. Uh, Rockola jukebox. More, more valves and flow control stuff. Ah, well, we're sort of in the housewares over here. There's all kinds of stuff over here, and yarn of all kinds of colors. You wouldn't expect to find yarn in here. And then we jump right into vacuum tubes. You gotta love how this place is organized, or lack thereof. But the vacuum tubes go on. And on. And on. You need a vacuum tube. They probably have it.
perfectly honest, I'm not sure what some of this stuff is. Uh, oh, I think those are chargers, maybe for walkie-talkies. Yeah. I'm not sure what a lot of this other stuff is. Uh, Point-of-sale terminals. And some stereo equipment up top here. Uh, that must be point of sale again, like a register. Yeah. Top, uh, old military looking uh, radio receiver. More point of sale stuff. More stuff. I really don't know what it is. Battery holders. All kinds of battery holders. Actually, you know what those are? Those are helium neon lasers. That's exactly what those are. Not a lot of call for those in the uh, age of uh, solid state lasers, I'll bet, but uh, if you need a helium neon laser, these people can hook you up. Speakers. Small to huge. Foot pedals. And I'm not sure what these are. Let me see. Set my basket down. Ah, ceiling mounted speakers, I guess. Now I'm in the clothing section, which takes up probably a good third of the store. They have a lots of different kinds of clothing here, including new and used military stuff. I have bought a lot of military clothing here. It is even used. You know, it's got a lot of life in it. It's tough as nails. I use it on the fossil hunting expeditions out to Nebraska because the Badlands in Nebraska will destroy everything, but the uh, military clothing stands up. And it just, there's a huge, huge amount of it in here. All kinds of stuff. And, uh, oh, let's see. I'm probably not going to be able to film the entire store. There's just too much here. This video would be hours long and I don't have the time. Uh, on the other side of this little wall of shelves here there's the boots section so they've got military boots new and used all kinds of boots over there tarps that's not military standard but, uh, men's and women's clothing not just military stuff more like street clothes too this place is part goodwill as well as part electronic surplus. At least that's what it looks like. The clothing section is just huge. All right, leaving the clothing section, here we are into Transformers and Variax. Huge, huge ones. Well, these will power those stage lights I saw in the other aisle. Yeah. We build a theater and we're getting into power supplies uh, wall warts and up here more traditional power supplies the power supply section is pretty huge it's in one of these other aisles too but now I'm getting into motors all kinds of motors AC motors DC motors gear motors, stepper motors, all kinds of stuff. A pyramid of motors. That looks a little dodgy. Kind of looks like maybe a washing machine motor. I don't know. Bunch of motors. And then we got starter capacitors for motors. And more motors. A 
Looks like pneumatic stuff. And hydraulic stuff. Yeah. And then we got rope. All kinds of rope and cord. And uh, webbing behind the rope. Need to reweb your uh, patio furniture. And then I knew there were more power supplies. I thought it was being gypped in the other aisle, but here they are. All kinds of power supplies. All sorts of different voltages, currents, form factors. Goes on to the back wall. And then we got bearings over here. All kinds of bearings. I've bought a few pillow blocks here. They come in handy. And then here we are along the back wall. It is just covered the entire length of the back wall with these big 19 inch racks with all kinds of rack mount equipment in it. I would be surprised if a lot of this came from Sandia Labs. I, I couldn't even tell you what a lot of it is, but here's a whole bank of HP stuff. Can you imagine what this must have cost when it was new? I can't imagine how many zeros were on that price tag. You could probably pick it up for pennies on the dollar here. Nuts, bolts, screws, all kinds of hardware. Rack after rack after rack of it. And looks like we got steel pipe fittings along that wall. More hardware. Oh, and here's some uh, PVC pipe fittings. More hardware. And along this side, ah, we've got uh, fittings for electrical conduit. All over here. And some, uh, some very large plugs of some sort. Okay. Now we're back to the clothing. I think it's about time to go outside. Wait till you see the outside. I don't know how big their yard is out here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a couple acres. And there is just everything imaginable in here. I mean, here's a, here's a whole bunch of powered wheelchairs and scooters. Uh, over there, street lights. All kinds of street lights. File cabinets. Scales. There's a bunch of kilns back there. I've looked at those because I'm a kiln guy. Um, electrical boxes from the little type you might have in your closet at home with your circuit breakers in it. Up to things that turn on big and off turn on and off big industrial equipment. More file cabinets. There's the scales. Uh, some of this stuff I don't even know what it is. Big switching boxes. Transformer looks like a three-phase transformer down there. Uh, jars. This place has a lot of jars and bottles. You gotta look to find them though. They're spread out all over the place. This looks like some sort of, yeah, some sort of blower. I suppose I can take my mask off out here. I won't sound so muffled. Office chairs. And this is just what's right outside the side door of the place. I mean, this goes on forever. Here's some more huge Variax sitting out here. Let me walk around over here and show you some stuff. Looks like I've got some huge pumps here, maybe. Uh, food service equipment. Look at all this stainless steel stuff. You could outfit several restaurants with it. 
Uh, back here, there's there's a whole rack under this tree. There's a whole rack of vacuum pumps. Several racks of vacuum pumps. You need a vacuum pump, these people are will set you up. Fire extinguishers. Lots of fire extinguishers. Um, motors and cylinders. Looks like hydraulic or pneumatic cylinders over there. More food service stuff. Oh, there's some mailboxes back there. Little pigeonhole mailboxes. And some sinks and a toilet. <laughs> um, fireproof cabinets for chemical storage. Uh, looks like motors, pumps, and blowers. Ah, some big heavy tables. Uh, looks like more electrical boxes back there. This is welding equipment. Need a welder? You need a big welder? I know where you can get one. And then over here, there is just all kinds of industrial equipment. All kinds of industrial equipment. And to be perfectly honest, I don't even know what half this stuff does. Okay, I said that, then I walk right up on a glass polisher. I would love to have this. Oh, it's in German. Germans make good stuff. Even if I could afford it, I have no way to get it home. And no place to put it at home. But this is a nice polisher. Wow. But there's all kinds of industrial equipment back here of all sorts of types, even though I don't know what they are, for the most part. I mean, it goes it goes on and on. Look, there's 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 more industrial equipment. Ah, there's a big dust separator. That would be great for like if you had a business that created a lot of dust, like a cabinet shop or something. Um, you know what this is? Oh my god. This is an electron microscope. Sitting out here in the great outdoors rotting away. Wouldn't you love to have an electron microscope? Probably needs a little work, but... Oh, it's got all of the, yeah, all the high vacuum pumping equipments in there. Cool. Uh, some sort of electrical switching gear back here. Uh, can lights in the ceiling. I don't know what this is. Some sort of big piece of equipment. So here's here's another view of that big piece of equipment uh, behind the electron microscope. Uh, electron probe microanalyzer. Maybe it's part of the microscope, but look at all that. You could, it looks like you could launch a space shuttle with that thing. Look at all those knobs, dials, buttons, and and a and a screen too. Wow. Very cool. I'll bet that cost a pretty penny. You could back your truck up probably and pick that up for not very much money. You had a use for it. More chairs. Oh, insulators. Great big insulators. For all your high voltage experiments. You Tesla coil guys. Yeah, this is where you can get your insulators. That is a great big pump. That is a really great big pump. I don't know what it pumped. Air, water, what? Other, but that is a big pump. Whole bin full of old computer equipment over here. I'm going to look through this for floppy drives. Although they've been out in the weather, they're probably no good. Maybe I won't. Okay, back to the industrial equipment over here. I know what these torrent boxes are. Those are those are industrial vacuums for sucking up dust for machinery. We used a lot of those in the plant I used to work in as an engineer. Got Oh, massive blowers, compressors, pumps back there. Just huge things. 
racks of steel shelving components. Put your warehouse together. More interesting industrial equipment. No idea, but if you needed to, if you were if you were making a science fiction film, like an art project, science fiction film, you could pick up some props here, that's for sure. I think I think the Doctor Who people probably shop here. That's a huge heat exchanger down here on a pallet. Air to air, air to gas, air, air to water, water to water, I don't know. Who knows? More racks of industrial equipment. Man, some of this is just so steampunky cool. It's amazing. Uh, that has the look of another oven. Don't know what that is, but hard to say. Oh yeah, here's a here's a whole row of ovens, industrial ovens. It's been probably a year since I was here last, and they have rearranged the inside and the outside quite a bit. I'm having to relearn my way around. More industrial equipment, I'll tell you, the yard just goes on and on. Look at that mixer. Look at that Y-shaped mixer. That's for getting a really homogeneous mix of uh, different powders. Put them in there, spin it, and with the shape, the way the, the powder goes back and forth and gets cut by the, uh, the bottom every time it spins, it really makes a homogeneous mixture. More ovens. And huge. Huge water supply hoses for what? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like fire hose. Looks like we got some more pumps. And we got some blowers. Oh, conveyor belts up top. Over here, shafts. Uh, not even sure what some of this stuff's called. Mechanical components, more blowers, uh, gear motors. Pumps. Oh, look at this. I got a thing for Variax. One, two, three, four, five, six gang Variac. The thing's as big as a water heater. It's huge. Wow. Power stat variable auto transformer. Three phase, 240 volts. Wow. 50, 60 hertz. I'll bet this controlled stage lighting in a theater. Look at that blower. That's a monster. Got fans back there. Uh, maybe more dust separating equipment? Not sure. Fittings. More pumps. More pumps. Blowers. Exhaust blowers, big ass blowers, or fans. HVAC, ductwork and vents and uh, grills. Pumps, pumps, pumps. I do believe they have every type of pump known to man. It goes all the way back to the fence line back there pumps and more pumps over here and huge huge AC motors down here to drive your pumps so pump without a motor isn't very useful that's a big valve there's some more motors some more pumps all right 
I need to get back inside because number one, it's hot out here. And uh, number two, I need to finish my shopping and check out because I got to hit the road. It's already afternoon. I still need to get lunch and get on the highway and try to make it as far as uh, Amarillo tonight if I can. I'm headed back home for my place in Arizona. I always hit this place either going to or coming from my place in Arizona. So I got a lot of driving to do. Let me go finish shopping, checked out, and uh, go find some lunch. I was thinking a lot of burger. Because uh, I can only get Blake's Lotta Burger here in New Mexico. So it's a special treat when I pass through. All right, let me go. Okay, I'm back inside perusing the IC chips again. And I'll tell you what, um, if you have trouble finding anything in here, just ask the guy at the front desk. Uh, because he knows where everything is. Uh, just saw a guy come in needed phonograph needles. Where would you find phonograph needles in here? Well, they're right here. And the guy let him right to him. In the IC section, who'd have thought? But if you need phonograph needles, this is the place to go. Okay, I didn't buy too much on this trip, just some capacitors and some paddle switches. But uh, who knows, next time. The truck is just full of stuff I've picked up in other places, so there's really no room for much of anything else except a little bit of small stuff. But maybe next time I'll come this way with an empty truck. And we'll see. All right, so that's Surplus City in Albuquerque, New Mexico, one of my favorite places. Check it out if you're in the if you're in town. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up if you found it at all interesting, and subscribe to see future videos. This may be a first in a series. I'm going to hit some other uh, electronic surplus places around the country. You may find those videos interesting, so subscribe to see future ones. And push the little bell icon that uh, YouTube makes you push to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.